Greetings to grade 10 learners, it's Mr. Dooley from the other side. Today, we will be looking at part 2, including geometry. But, let me start with this special note. Our greatest fear is not that you are inadequate. Our greatest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, and talented? Actually, who are you not to be? You were born to make manifest. Believe that, great and learners. The more you believe, the more you will achieve. Whatever it's in your hearts, if you believe that you will pass great and I assure you, by following me, by watching my videos, exactly that will manifest itself. Right, guys. Today, we are dealing with geometry. Our objective for today is to look at congruency triangles, some real-life examples, and its applications. Let us dive to the definition of congruency. We'll be looking at number two because we are doing geometry. Now, it says if we are dealing with any figure, any figure, they are what? They are identical in any form. They can be able to coincide in exactly when they are superimposed. This is the definition taken from Google uh, Oxford Dictionary. Let us look at a practical example of what I'm talking about. Yes, these houses, guys, they are what? They are identical to each other. It means they are congruent to each other. These shapes, guys, exactly, they are what? They are identical to each other. They are identical to each other. It means now, we need to have some basic congruency rules for this chapter. The first rule, it says that if I can be able to prove that this side is equal to this side, also, this side is equal to this side. And lastly, this side is equal to this side. Then, I can be able to superimpose these triangles. They can be exactly identical. Then, I will say it's a side, side, side. It means these triangles will be congruent to each other. Exactly, guys. Or what, perfect. Or if this side is equal to this side exactly, and this angle is equal to this angle, last but not least, if this side is equal to this side, then what will happen? I can be able to take this triangle and coincide exactly on top of this triangle because now they are white, they are identical to each other. It means I will say side angle side. The third part, if I can be able exactly prove that this angle is equal to this angle, and also this angle is equal to this angle. And last but not least, if this side is equal to this side, then again, these triangles will be identical to each other. It means they are congruent to each other. Last but not least, if I can be able to prove that this angle, which is, I can't hear you exactly, which is 90 degrees, is equal to this angle, which is also 90 degrees exactly. And if I can be able to prove this, this side, what is the name of the side which is opposite to 90? Can you please remind me, grade 10? It is an hypotenuse side. Thank you so much, guys. And if I can be able to prove that it also equal to this hypotenuse side, Lastly, if I can prove that this side is equal to this side, then what will happen? These two triangles, they can 
be able to be identical and they are congruent to each other. Great and learners, let us look at this type 1 rule. Now, we have two triangles. We want to prove that these two triangles are congruent to each other. It means what will happen is that this symbol, grade 10, it stands for congruency. And for part 3, we'll be talking about this symbol. And this symbol, it talks about similar triangle. We'll be talking about that for part 3. Wait for part 3. But for today, let us focus on congruency. Now, I have a statement that I want us to read. It says, if one side and two angles of triangle are equal to the corresponding one side and two angles of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent to each other. It means this side, if it's equal to this side, and this angle is equal to this angle, then also this angle equal to this angle, then these triangles they are congruent to each other. Now, let us look at a practical example of what I'm talking about. On this question, you are required to prove that triangle ABE is congruent to triangle CDE. Let us write that down. It means I would say in triangle ABE and I would say end because I have proved that these triangles are congruent. Triangle C, D, E. What I can be able to prove that I have three things which are equal to each other, then I can be able to conclude that those triangles are equal. Now, I want to teach you something great about this chapter. Is that the order that they've used for these triangles, they are trying to tell you indirectly that also those angles, they are equal. If they started with A, it means A will be equal to C. Also, B will be equal to D and E will be equal to E. Take note of that. We'll use that principle for this chapter. Now, let us look for A, guys. There is your A for triangle A, B, E. Where is E? There is E for triangle C, D, E. Exactly. I can hear you. We have parallel lines, grade 10. Exactly. Then, our geometry is 5. Yes. There is your N shape. It means these angles are alternating to each other. It means I'll say angle A is equal to angle C. Why? It's an alternating angles are equal. Which lines we use that are parallel? It's A, B, which is parallel to D, C. Thank you so much. Let us go back to our pattern. Now, I'm looking for angle B now. There is angle B. I'm looking for angle D. There is angle D. Exactly. I still have parallel lines. And these angles are doing what, guys? They are alternating again. It means angle B is equal to angle D. What is your reason? It's an alternating angles which are equal. And again, I'm using the same principle. Now, we have a given side on these uh, diagrams that EB is equal to ED. This symbol, it stands for sides that are equal. Means now, I can conclude that EB is equal to ED. What is your reason? I can't hear you. It gives you exactly. Right? Therefore, I've proved 
three things, then I can conclude that these triangles A, B, E is congruent now because I proved three things to triangle C, D, E. What is your reason again? I've started with an angle, an angle again, and lastly it was a side. It means triangle angle side. Right, make sense of this uh, theorem, guys. It will help you a lot. Now, let us proceed to the second part now. Again, we have two triangles, and we want to prove that these two triangles are congruent to each other because this symbol stands for congruency. What is our statement? It says, if two sides and the included angle of a triangle are equal to the corresponding two sides and included angle of one triangle, then those two triangles are congruent to each other. I can, if I can trace this IK to trace it to EF, it will fit exactly here. If I can take JK to GH, it will fit exactly here. If I take angle K to H, it will fit here, and automatically this side will be equal. It means this triangle now is a been superimposed to this triangle, then these triangle awards are congruent to each other. Let us have a practical example for what I'm talking about. Now, we want to prove that in triangle ABC and triangle a, D, C. Right? We want to prove that these triangles are what are congruent to each other. That means if I have three things, A, B, C. Pause this video and try to do it on your own. Now, guys, I have A, B, and A, D. It's given. It's my given statement. Start with your given statement. A, B, and A, D are what? Are equal. And if I have to look for a pattern, there is my A, B, there is my A, D. They are what? They are equal. Then I will say A, B is equal to A, D. What is your reason? It's given. Exactly. Right. Let me check for other given statement. Wow, guys. There is angle A1. It's given that it's equal to angle A2. These two dots, they stand for equal angles. Let me check my pattern. The angle at A for triangle AB, it has to equal the angle at A for triangle ADC. Wow, they are equal. It means angle A1 is equal to angle A2. What's the reason again? It's even. Okay. Mm, I need to find that Third part now, guys. There is no other given statement. And then, but I'm noticing something here. If we look at triangle ABC and triangle ADC, we have concluded that AB is equal to AD. Also, AC. 1, 3 can be equal to AC. Let us check. A, B, C. A. D, e, C. Guys, what is happening with AC? AC is a common side. They tend. AC is a common side. That's why. This AC is equal to this AC. Then AC is equal to AC. Why we say so? It's a common side. Wow. Therefore, prove three things. Then triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC. Why we say so? It was side angle. It was side, proven angle, and again, was proven side, 
side and the side. Okay. Right. Let us continue with our lesson. Now, let us look at this theorem now. This theorem now, what we are able to prove that all these three sides, all these three sides of the triangles are equal in length, then these triangles are congruent to each other. Okay, let us look at a practical example. It's given that ABCD is a kite in which AB is equal to AD, AB is equal to AD, and BC is equal to DC. Then we need to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC. Let's say in triangle ABC and triangle ADC. If I can prove how many things? Three things. Exactly. Then I will conclude that these triangles are equal, are congruent to each other. Then, let us look for our pattern now. We have a given statement. AB, where is AB? There is AB. It's equal to AD. There is AD. Exactly. And it is given. Thank you, guys. AB, because I'm talking about this triangle ABC and this triangle ADC. AB is equal to AD, which is given exactly okay we have any given statement yes bc is equal to dc bc is equal to dc again what is your reason it is given thank you right last but not least okay i've spoken about a b and a d I've spoken about BC and DC. Okay. If I'm looking at the other side, the other side will be AC and AC. Exactly. If I were to name this, this is your one and one. This is your two and two. And this is your three and three. AC, AC is what, guys? I have AC on triangle ABC, right? I have AC on triangle ABC. I also have AC on triangle ADC. It means AC is common. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. AC, it's a common side. Wow. This, this. Mm. Conclude that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC. Why we said so? Because of side, side, side. All these sides are equal, then these triangles are congruent to each other. I hope you still understand. If you don't understand me, make sure that you pause this video and try to. Right, guys, now let us look at these triangles now. We have to prove that these two triangles are congruent to each other. And if we have an hypotenuse side, an hypotenuse side and a right angle, then and any corresponding side, then we can be able to prove that these triangles are congruent to each other. Okay, let us look at this practical example. At this practical example, we have to prove that triangle ABO is congruent to triangle ACO. What is our golden step? Is we need to say in triangle ABO and triangle ACO. How many three things that we need to prove? They are three. Okay. Right. What is our given statement, guys? Our given statement says that AB is equal to AC. Oh, okay. There is your AB. There is your AC. AO is perpendicular to BC. AO is perpendicular to BC. And it's even shown that this is 90. It means also this O1 will be 90. Then we have to prove. Guys, it means now I can boldly say angle O1 
is equal to angle O2, which is equal to 90. What is our reason? Exactly is given. It's given. Okay. Now, it's given that AB is equal to AC. And what is the name of the side that is opposite to 90? It's an hypotenuse side. Thank you so much, guys. Means I can say AB is equal to AC. What is the reason? Again, it's given. Okay. Now, I need to look for the last thing now. The last thing, guys, is that is if I'm at ABO, ACO, what is happening with AO? AO is common side. Thank you so much, guys. Means AO is equal to AO. Why we say so? It's a common side. Then, conclude now. Triangle. A, B, O is congruent to triangle A, C, O. Why we said so? But guys, why we said so? Because we started with 90 degrees. You agree with me? And the side that we used for A, B, it what? It's an hypotenuse side. Thank you. And lastly, we ended up with a side. Right. Guys, these are the four basic principles for proving that your theorems are congruent to each other. Let us look at a practical example for this chapter. We'll be looking at question 5, it's adopted from one of the past exam papers. We are given that KL is equal to LN. Right, guys? KL and LN. They're forming a triangle, yes, I can hear you. Now, this is what, guys? It's an isosceles triangle. Thank you so much. It means, conclude, it means this angle will be equal to this angle. Remember, we give statement. In short, it's an equal angle, opposite equal side. If I have to use that, continue the Kim statement. And NM is also equal to KL. It means these triangles again, exactly. If these two sides are equal, it means this angle is equal to this angle. Because this is an isosceles triangle. Once more, it's an equal angle, opposite equal side. Thank you so much, guys. And lastly, enemy equal to that. And we have parallel line, which is KN parallel to LM. Remember your fun for parallel lines. It means if I have a parallel line, N1 will be exact alternating to L2. Okay. Now, let us go to the questions now. The first question say, prove that M1, where is M1? This M1 is equal to K. There is K. Okay? Right. It means now for 5.1, how can I prove that M1 equal to K? I can hear you. We said K is equal to N1, right? Okay? And we said N1 is equal to L2, right? We also said that L2 is equal to M1. Then we can conclude that M1 is equal to K because we were reading our giving statement and then now we can unpack everything. Tell them that by angle K is equal to angle N1. Why we said so? Because an equal angles opposite equal side. Thank you so much, guys. Also, N1, exactly, N1, we said it's equal to L2. Why we said? Because we have alternating angles. It's an alternating angles because we used parallel line KN, which is parallel to LM. Okay? 
But now, how can I can move to M now? But L2 is equal to M1. But L2 is equal to M1. Why we say so again? We got that on our given on our given statement, which is equal angles, opposite equal sides. Right? Guys, it means now this K it has to equal to M1 because of this root. Then we say that angle K is equal to angle M1. Thank you so much, guys. Now, guys, let us look now for 5.2. For 5.2. We have to prove that triangle KLM is congruent to triangle MNL. It means what our golden step is in triangle KLM. Right, guys, let us look for 5.2 now. It means for 5.2 now, we have to prove that triangle KLM is congruent to triangle MNL. It means I'll say in triangle. K L N and triangle M N L. I need to look for many things. I can't hear you for three things. Remember, guys, that it's either you have side, side, side. We have angle, angle, side. We have side, angle, side. Or we have a right angle hypotenuse side. I have to check for any of these three. Now, let us check this triangle that we are talking about. Talking about triangle K, L, N, okay, and triangle M, N, L, right? Now, if we are talking about these triangles, guys, there is the side which equal to N, M, okay, I have a side. We have a common side which is n and on the previous question for 5.1 we were asked to prove that this angle is equal to this angle it means this is the angle then we have side angle side then it means now let us write it down we'll say kl is equal to mn why we say so it is given Right, and since you have realized that I'm talking about side angle side, and I have to say K angle K is equal to angle M1. What is the reason? Yes, it is proved above exactly, guys. Okay, now lastly, we're saying that NL, there is NL, it what it's a common side, it's equal to NL. It's a common side. Right, guys. Now I've proved three things. Then I can conclude now that triangle. I can conclude now that triangle KLN is congruent to triangle MNL. Right? What is our reason? Side angle. Side. Thank you so much, guys. It was Mr. Dude from the other side. Please make sure that you study and remember that you are born to make manifest. I believe that you have enjoyed this video and I'm looking forward to meet with you for part 3. Thank you so much guys.